So picking up on the theme of <coughs> text analysis in particular, and that was a great, uh, great segue from Aya uh, uh, to our two projects. Uh, Abdullah and I will, will, will briefly uh, talk about two applications uh, that we've pursued in the context of this, <coughs> uh, 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 of this theme project. And I'll talk a little bit about a piece from my dissertation, which is <coughs> about public response to hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, as, as most of you probably know it. Uh, and Abdullah will talk a little bit about the legal language project, and particularly a risk assessment of financial instruments <coughs> uh, after me. Uh, we've tried to fit a lot, so bear with us if I talk fast, and we'll be available after, too, to, to, to talk to people. So, Okay, so I'll begin with my project on fracking. And, uh, perhaps most pertinent <coughs> to the theme project, uh, um, research has shown that mobilization uh, of public opinion and social movements kind of structures both the emergence and the diffusion of new industries, right? And uh, uh, so my research explores this in the context of uh, this unfolding boom in shale, gas, and oil development using hydraulic fracturing, right? And uh, so you have people both saying no fracking way, uh, including in New York State most successfully, and uh, supporters of fracking, and uh, we're interested in, in how these dynamics play out. And so, as uh, many of you are probably New York residents, you might be familiar that there was this long battle about fracking in New York State, which culminated in Andrew Cuomo uh, passing a ban on fracking in 2014. But prior to that, there was five years of public comments that people submitted. Many, some, maybe some of you even submitted some comments. What I did is I, I filed a FOIA request to the DEC, the Department of Environmental and Conservation, and I got all these comments from them. Uh, um, and there are over 250,000 comments in total over five years that people submitted. Excuse me. Uh, and from the perspective of someone, so this is one example of a comment that you would uh, uh, receive. But from the uh, perspective of someone who's interested in understanding public response to shale gas development, these data really offer uh, uh, some very unique and interesting uh, 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 features. And I'll mention just a couple. First of all, as I kind of alluded to, the behavioral measures of people's support and opposition to fracking. This is not a survey where you know, the person might not know what fracking is, right? Uh, and surveys find that there's relatively low, uh, uh, um, uh, low uh, um, understanding of what fracking is. These are people participating in the relevant public forum about an important topic, right? Then secondly, they're geocoded, which means for every comment, I know the person's address. I know where they're coming from. So I can test this idea of, is it really not in my backyard type of mobilization? And if it is, uh, 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 you know, is the size of the relevant backyard, does it vary with perhaps uh, political identity, right? Uh, uh, which is something I find in, in my uh, other research, that political liberals tend to view uh, 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 something as relevant when they don't live near. Uh, the proposed citing. Uh, and finally, most importantly, the text itself offered these rich insights into people's concerns about fracking and also the reasons that they might support it. Uh, and this is, again, in contrast to something like the Likert scale that you would uh, normally find in a survey, uh, 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 in a survey about your opposition or support to, to fracking. And I just want to say also more generally, for those interested in this kind of research, public comments are kind of an untapped a, a resource for research on public opinion, because we collect thousands or even millions of, of public comments on various uh, policy issues. But there's a reason that, that you know, we haven't really used these until recently, is because they're analytically intractable. I mean, even if you had the research budget to hire all those poor undergraduate RAs, <laughs> you'd have a, probably a revolt on your hands trying to get them to, to code these things up. Uh, so, so this is the kind of thing that we're trying to, to use. And, and, and thankfully, in the last decade or so, computer scientists and statisticians have come up with several methods uh, uh, to try to uh, uh, make this task easier and feasible. Um, so the, t the model that I use, and, and Abdullah will, brief about, uh, uh, will talk about briefly as well, is the LDA, the topic model. It's kind of the vanilla uh, uh, topic model maybe some of you uh, heard about. Uh, it's essentially what it does is it takes a document and inductively finds the topics that the document is about. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have time to kind of go into the qualifications and the technical details of the model, but uh, as I said, we'll be available to, to talk um, uh, more about it if you're interested after. 
So here is uh, an example. So we have this comment, and, and maybe it talks about the local economy uh, and how fracking would impact that. It talks about the ecological impact and about truck traffic. And the LDA model, it estimates these things not at the paragraph level, but at the word level. And it tells you what each comment is uh, uh, about. So I'm moving on to the results really quickly. So uh, this is a subset of comments. These are some preliminary results uh, from my dissertation research. Uh, and one relevant thing that, so this is the distribution of public comments submitted by uh, New York residents in the public comment period. Uh, and uh, 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 one relevant thing missing from this, from this map is that any development of fracking that would concentrate in New York would concentrate along the Pennsylvania border right here. So the majority of the comments are coming from places where there would not be any fracking. So one question that, that, that my dissertation tries to, to answer is, you know, why are these people who are not necessarily directly impacted by fracking mobilizing and, and spending their resources to participate in, in, this, in this debate? And so I run these topic models. This is, again, preliminary analysis from 8,000 uh, of the comments that have been digitized. Um, and <clears throat> you can just see some topics that, that, that come uh, from the analysis. This includes concerns about local impacts uh, to quality of life, health, and rural economy. These are like the first three topics. Um, then concerns about uh, water pollution. These are topics four and five. And more abstract concerns with uh, which link hydraulic fracturing to climate change. Topic six uh, to ecological impacts. Topic seven and renewable sources of energy, which is topic eight. Uh, topic nine is an interesting one. It's the topic that supporters of fracking use. So they're emphasizing job and economic uh, positive impacts. So. Um, I'm not interested in, in, in just uh, looking at the conceptions that people have of fracking, but also, and more importantly, how these different conceptions then uh, shape the pattern of mobilization for and against fracking, right? So we can then uh, look at the comments that express particular topics and examine how they're distributed uh, 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 among uh, people who participate in the debate. So this is a very NIMBY, not in my backyard kind of topic. This is about truck traffic and noise and uh, 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 noise pollution, local impacts. And we see that it mostly concentrates along the, uh, 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 the southern tier, kind of uh, a lot of Ithacans really concerned about truck traffic uh, 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 as well. Um, this is the the pro-fracking topic, so you can get a sense for what some of these folks are saying. I'm a landowner in Tioga County. I feel that gas drilling can be done safely under the regulations. The drilling will bring thousands of new jobs into New York State, along with uh, much uh, money, which will ease the burden on New York State taxpayers. It is a shot in the arm that we need, right? And these people mostly concentrate, as you would expect, in places that uh, 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 were leased for natural gas exploration in the southern tier. And then finally, I'll leave you with this because I'm probably going over time. Uh, we have a comment uh, 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 that really emphasizes concerns with climate change and concerns with renewable energy. And these are folks that are equating these two. So being anti-fracking is essentially uh, uh, similar as being pro-renewable energy. And we can uh, begin to understand why people in Brooklyn or people in Albany are uh, opposing fracking, uh, and it's because that they uh, they have their political identities invested in this in this in this thing. Um, so th I'll stop there and, and and welcome questions afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.